Hi, I'm Johan from Bose. I'm so happy to be at the Guitar Summit online for the first time. And uh, on this webpage you can find all our tutorial videos. Uh, you can also find them on YouTube, of course, on Bose Professional. We will talk about uh, how to connect a digital guitar amp uh, with speaker simulation, how uh, to, we, we tweak the sound between the systems. We go through the mix app. We will have a wonderful guitar player uh, who helps me with playing and explaining the actual systems. For the best experience, please use headphones. We have recorded this session with stereo setup of shore condenser microphones approximately five meters away from the stage. Uh, the systems you see uh, is the L1 Pro 8, the L1 Pro 16 and the L1 Pro 32 including subwoofer 1 and 2. The onboard mixer of the L1 Pro series are exactly the same for all three systems. The L1 Pro 16's built-in mixer is intuitive and easy to use. It includes everything you need to control a variety of audio sources. Channel level volume, EQ, and reverb controls. Two combo quarter inch XLR inputs with phantom power. Quarter inch and eighth inch aux inputs. Plus Bluetooth audio streaming. Here you can also access tone match presets and optimize system EQs for live music, recorded music, and more. Plus, you get a full bandwidth balance line out. And if you have a Bose T4 or T8S tone match mixer, you can add even more channels. Connect using the tone match port, and one cable provides both power and digital audio between the system and the mixer. Finally, you can also control all of these features from your mobile device with the L1 Mix app. Adjust channel level volume and EQ settings in the app, and watch the LEDs on your L1 Pro 16 move to match in real time. Plus, you can access the entire tone match library of presets. These EQs are designed for a lot of gear you probably already own and they take you from sounding good to sounding great instantly. And that's the L1 Pro 16, the sweet spot, a balance of power and portability that gives you expanded bandwidth and supreme clarity. Thank you, Craig. And now it's time for some rock and roll. Okay, uh, it's time to more in depth check out how we connect the gear and what gear we have when it comes to guitar we're going to use a digital amp and we're going to connect it to the Bose L1 Pro 16 and to help me with that I invited a very good not just friend he's my brother he is a I'm his greatest fan he's Pontus Norgren from Hammerfall welcome mm. <laughs> Hey. 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 hey! hey! Hi! In Swedish? <laughs> yeah, in Swedish. Why not? Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna I'm gonna let Pontus explain what gear he has and how I will take over then and how we have connected it. So, what kind of guitar gear are you using um, here? Yeah, and with yeah. Hammerfall, why not? Yeah, yeah. Start with Hammerfall. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. With Hammerfall, I'm, uh, at the moment I'm using uh, a, a Kemper profiler mm. uh, where I've done all my profiles myself. Yeah because I have like a big Marshall rig with, you know, a stereo setup with racks and stack that weighs a lot. Mm -hmm. And I could actually profile it and get it into the actual camper mm -hmm. and bring it on tour because we use it in the air also. Mm -hmm. So I have the same sound every day. Yeah. On and stage. also it's, maybe it's more easy to fly with. Also yeah, it is. You, you can bring it wherever yeah. and, and you can also just bring a USB stick mm. and borrow a camper wherever mm. you are in mm. the world. And that's that's efficient mm. when it comes to yeah. traveling. Can imagine. But, but at, at today it's a totally different um, T totally different setup that I'm using, but it's more more or less same as a profiler. But I'm using a JMP1 Marshall a preamp that uh, it's not around anymore. You can't buy it, but it's a great um, preamp for rock and roll. And I'm running that through uh, an impulse response reader, which is uh, impulse response is a mirror mirrorized speaker. So, sort Re of. Recorded speaker. Yeah, rec you can say recorded. You, you, you make an impulse response by a, a sinus tone. You sweep from 20 
20 hertz up to 20,000, yeah. hello, 20 kilohertz. And then there is a program that can make that into an impulse response. Okay. And an impulse response is like a digital speaker. Digital speaker. Yeah. Perfect. Easy to carry. Yeah. Uh, why not hear something familiar, maybe? Can you play something so we don't... I, I unmute the, the system yeah. and we can just hear something and yeah, yeah, yeah. see how it sounds. And we'll yeah. go more in depth later. Mm -hmm. Maybe you recognize this one. That was Hammerfall. Yes. Definitely. Hearts on Fire. And yeah. w when we're sp speaking of Hammerfall, I mean, we have to let you guys know that we are here at Guitar Summit right now. So. I mean, Hammerfall went on tour in the beginning of this year, before COVID-19 and everything, and I was able to go down in Germany uh, for three or four gigs and follow them on tour. Uh, and we, you did something special on one, one of those concerts in, L I think it was Ludwigsburg. Ludwigsburg, L yes. What happened? Oh, we, we actually recorded uh, the first uh, live CD uh, vinyl, uh, Blu-ray, DVD in Germany, and uh, it's called Live Against the World. And I'm proud to say I actually mixed the, the actually audio for the whole thing also. So... Uh, Sound engineer too. Yeah. Uh, I can tweak some knobs. <laughs> <laughs> and but, and I, uh, it, I happen to know that you have a copy of the, the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have it with me here. Bring it in. And just check it out. Check it's, it out. Look at this, oh. the Hammerfall live against the world. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is hard rock, but even more hard rock is this. When you open it, you have this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is a setup. This and is a stage. You guys that love vi vinyl, this is a triple vinyl triple with the vinyl. whole show. So, uh, and you can get it on Blu-ray and you can get it on a CD if you want It looks that. very hot. Yeah, it, it was hot. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, I mean, you had everything. It was loud. Uh, actually, they were playing through a Bose PA yeah. uh, uh, and, and uh, the huge one, we call it show match. But mm -hmm. the, they have fire. It was, uh, yeah, smoke, explosion, yeah, smoke everything. and everything. It was everything that you need on a hard rock concert. Yeah. So it was really cool. We put yeah. it over here. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Put it over here. Uh, so. We have the actual gear here uh, and we connect it to the L1 Pro 16 uh, with a quarter inch, yeah, it's, yeah, just yeah, a quarter inch yeah, jack qu cable. Yeah, jack cable. Jack cable, yeah. line out yeah. to channel three. We have, as you know, one channel one, two is combo jacks. Channel three is a line input. So we actually go straight into line input and we have uh, just turn up the volume yeah. and everything is there. Uh, what is so special and why are we using now the, 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 this gear with the Pro 16, L1 Pro 16? The projection of the sound is very, very even. You have the 180 degrees dispersion. You have also a very even consistent sound over distance, uh, which gives a huge benefit to a, a impulse response, uh, this type of digital speaker simulator, can you yeah, call it you that? Can say that? In a way, yeah, yeah in a way. Uh, because you can actually hear super clear when you switch between different speakers, uh, which is quite hard to do if you have it through a monitor or a some kind of these wedges or, or anything. This is more like a PA and you get the actual sound out of it, exactly how this speaker is sounding. Mm -hmm. Shall we try to go through a couple of speakers? Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. do that. Which, which one have you loaded uh, into that box? Yeah, at, at the moment it's it's a vintage Marshall cabinet with uh, Greenback 30s. Okay. Yeah, and uh, what's like the character of, of that sound is a little bit more old school. Yeah, and a little bit compressed, sort of. Yeah, um, and I think I think this. Have you used that live? That type of speaker? Oh yeah, okay. I use it a lot and I use it a lot in the studio also. Okay. And um, I think everyone recognizes this type it. of sound. Yeah, we can, we, we listen to it. We listen uh -huh. to that sound again. <laughs> 
absolutely amazing to stand next to the speaker listen to I mean this this Marshall uh, yeah, yeah, speaker yeah. I mean it's a Marshall speaker actually mm -hmm. standing here but it's a Bose L1 Pro 16 yeah. it's a I mean, I mean I'm impressed about the low end yeah. coming out so oh, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it feels like having a cabinet blowing blowing your knees off but the clear the clear sound that comes up all the way up here is actually how it sounds because yeah. normally guitar players never sit in front of their speaker but here yeah. you stand. Someone actually front. say that. That, that, that that's a good point. Uh, many guitarists tell us that that it, it's too sharp sometimes. It gets too too much high end in in the top. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that could be uh, the, the reason for that. Could be that they actually normally have the speakers and down behind your, your your knees in that that level. Mm -hmm. And right now you have it up in your ears, yeah. which gives you a opportunity to maybe not play that loud and still hear yourself yeah. could be a really good option shall we try another yeah. speaker which I, one i think i think we're going in we're going into the more cc top orange okay and characteristics the, characteristics of that one yeah I, I think this is a little bit more fat and um, you know more bass uh, yeah more or? more rumbly sort of okay. but still it's very clear in, in the way and I can just do this, it's quite easy. You know, here is the Marshall. And then we go over to the orange here and now. I mean, it's 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 loud. It's it's present. It's yeah. cl it's super clear, and and it it sounds, it sounds like an actual guitar rig. It's amazing. But the thing is, now, I have to say, now we we done the rock and roll part, and okay. I think we have to go into like a more, if you say funky or poppy, and I'm gonna use an impulse response of. Um, a uh, Fender Twin. It's a Fender Twin. Okay. Yeah, so it's a combo and it's a little bit different, uh, but I think you recognize the feel of it. <laughs> my point of view it was a different kind of, of low end yes, on this speaker of course Def I mean it, and you could really feel it in the stage here um, but I'm still yeah. using the same preamp so I can yeah. still make it sound like uh, sort of a screaming 4x12 like <laughs> then you have the dynamics that you can Wow I really hope you could feel the changes of the speakers through our L1 Pro 16. Uh, and again, no EQ, nothing. It's flat out, flat in, and only volume uh, up on, on channel three on that we connect the, the, this preamp uh, to the L1 Pro 16. Now we are entering the Mix app, and it calls L1 Mix, and it looks like this. And I will show you, it interacts with, with um, uh, the actual mi built-in mixer. So I will press the mute button and unmute channel one and look to, to the right and you will see that it unmutes straight away when I press the, the, the mute button on, on, in the app. To select volume, I just press volume, touch it uh, where it says volume, treble, bass, reverb, uh, and you can see it switch on the system. You can also actually touch in the, on the volume knob in the actual app. So I touch very light and you 
switch and jump between the different settings here. We have tone match, it's down here under channel 1 and 2 in the app and you also have the switch uh, on the system. So I press and it says microphone and it's switched to instrument or off. It's, it has nothing to do with input level, it's only an EQ, different EQ settings. Then we have the settings, it's up here to the right in the app. Phantom power uh, can be switched on or off and you can see it switch on and off on the actual system too. This goes for channel 1 and 2. Uh, we have also one more thing down here and it's the tone match library. For channel 1 and 2 we have the tone match library. I press this one and you have microphone category or instrument category. I mean I'm so thankful, I'm so proud and I'm so happy to have my brother Pontus with me helping me out with this. Without him it wouldn't be possible. Uh, to, to end this, to wrap this up, maybe we can hear some more Hammerfall-ish Rip, riff or something. Do you have, do you know any Hammerfall songs? <laughs> eh, no. <laughs> so why, why not? Uh, we end this session with Pontus. Here we go. Pontus Norgen, Hammerfall. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more, check our videos on this webpage or on YouTube. You find everything you need to know about our new series L1 Pro 8, 16 or 32. Connect your gear and let's play rock and roll. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.